Okay, this is a shout out going out to Frederick Van Johnson. And Frederick, I love you, love TWIP. I've been listening for years, uh, following you online, and you're, you're just great. You're great at that show. You're great at hosting the show. Uh, how you come up with some of the lines you come up with, I don't know, but you're just right off the cuff, just, just great. And your guests are fantastic. I was listening to your latest TWIP with Sarah France and Martin Bailey, and the one beef I have with you, Frederick, is this mantra, it's not about the gear, even though you have the show all about the gear. Great show, by the way. Frederick, you're wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Now, let's stipulate up front, right from the beginning, let's stipulate that we know that we need to try to learn our craft. We need to learn how to use our gear. We need to experiment with them. We need to get comfortable with the camera. We need to learn about composition. We need to learn photography, and that's a lifelong thing. And some photographers are much better than others. Some photographers are never going to be a good photographer. So let's stipulate that everybody's different as far as their skill set. So the only thing we can do, in addition to trying to be the best photographer we can, is learn about the gear and get the best gear for the job that we can afford and use the right gear for the job. So it's all compromises. And to, to make statements like, to imply that the gear doesn't matter, that a great photographer can just take an iPhone and, and create art with it. Maybe he can occasionally, but the gear certainly matters and it matters greatly and it's only gonna matter more as time marches forward because of Moore's law, because of what's happening with processor power and all the other variables involved in digital photography, audio, so on and so forth. So it's, it's, it's a mess and it's, everything's moving fast. And the other thing that some of these podcasts, photography related podcasts point that they make often is buy good glass because good glass you can use forever. It, it's, it's not going to go obsolete like the camera bodies will. I'm not so sure about that either. Times they are changing. I mean, look at these micro four thirds cameras, for example that Frederick, quite frankly, you champion quite often. Look at the glass that's coming out for some of them. Pretty fantastic glass. But like Martin said on your show, and Sarah France, I think, buttressed the argument, there's still, in some cases, no substitute for a full-frame sensor. There's no substitute for that look that you get when you shoot a portrait with a full-frame sensor with a good piece of glass on it. Let's say you take the best micro four thirds camera and you throw the best lens you can buy on it. And you take my old four year old, five year old D700 and put my 70 to 200 f2.8 lens on it, which isn't necessarily the best portrait lens out there, but it's great for portraits, great for weddings. I would challenge any photographer out there that knows what he's doing to take both cameras and shoot a portrait. And I would say that most people are going to say that the portrait shot with that full frame D700 is better than the latest, newest micro four thirds rig out there with a similar zoom lens on it. Let's say the, uh, I think it's 35 to 70 zoom on the H4, for example, is, is, as close as they get to a pro zoom lens in that same range. Take the photos and, and compare them, and, and I think that the full frame uh, shot is going to be better. So I think what we need to do is, is we need to really focus on what tool is best for the job, the changing environment, keeping an eye on all of these things. Audio is, is key with, with these videos and all. One of these mics, I've got a shotgun mic on the top which I've done a review on on my channel this one of course I'm talking right into the SM57 which is going straight into my A7R which of course doesn't have XLR inputs and I think it's great that you push manufacturers to keep developing and improving we need I, they still don't make the camera I need for run and gun shooting they don't make a decent 
4K camera that has XLR inputs, that has everything that I need that's in a good form factor that I can hold. And, and you know, when I'm riding in a parade with my Segway shooting the parade, they don't, they don't make a replacement for my Sony VG10 that I've used for years. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the camera manufacturers, but they are starting to listen, and, they, and you, Frederick, have their ear somewhat, I'm sure. So I think what we need to do, instead of continually saying it's not about the gear, I think we need to cont continually say what we want in our gear, what help we want from the manufacturers, what form factors we want, what we, we're shooting video, what, we, what tools we need to shoot video, what tools do we need to shoot stills, can we come up with the perfect format camera out there that we can shoot both stills and video clips with the same camera and not have to carry multiple cameras all the time? Is there a way to build a super zoom lens that's actually fantastic and sharp and lightweight? All these are trade-offs. I'm using the FZ1000 I've been testing for the last two weeks or so, and it's got that little one-inch sensor. And so because the sensor is so small, you can have a super zoom on it, and the whole thing is relatively lightweight. But I'm sorry, the image quality just isn't up to snuff compared to my full frame Nikon. It just isn't there. I took portraits yesterday at an event. I'll put a link in the in the description. You can go look and you can compare the photos that I took with the Panasonic to the photos I took with my, I guess, five year old now D700. And the D700 just blows it out of the water. So and Micro Four Thirds is a small sensor as well. Sorry, hate to tell all you Micro Four Thirds guys, but it's a small sensor. It's small. Um, so there is no silver bullet. There is no magic out here yet. I'm hoping it comes along the pike. I'm hoping a Micro Four Thirds camera comes out that is weather sealed like Martin Bailey likes, that has fast glass, beautiful zoom lenses on it that will take photos that, that rival full frame so Sarah France can use them in her wedding. That will be great, and I hope it happens. But I don't think it's happened yet, and I think we need to keep an eye on all of this. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about what we want as photographers and, and push these manufacturers forward because I think most of us are trying to improve our craft, are trying to be better at what we do, and some of us are never gonna be that much better than what we are. I, I'm just a run and gun shooter at events. I go out and cover large events, cover a lot of territory. I have to use the Segway to get around just because they're big events usually, and I'm only one guy shooting both stills and videos. So I have a certain style, and I shoot a lot of photos. A lot of photos I publish, other photographers would never publish but I publish them because they're photos of people that are there and they want their photo and it's better than what they can take with their cell phone under the same circumstances. So they, they want the photo, even though it might not be perfect. So I, everybody has a different style of shooting. Everybody's out for a different goal when they go out shooting. But Frederick, this message is just, Hey, let <laughs> you, you hurt your credibility when you say it's not about the gear. Because I'm sorry, with Moore's Law and with things accelerating the way it is and with what cameras can do these days, it is, to a large extent, about the gear. It, it, is that saying that it's not about the photographer? Of course it's about the photographer as well, but, but I'm me. I, you know, I, I am what I am. I can walk a certain speed. I can you know, bend over a certain amount. I can, there's certain things I can and can't do, right? If I could take pictures with my eye, then then I wouldn't need any gear at all, right? And if my eye could zoom in 600 millimeters, uh, then and I could take it right there, then that's fine. But we're not there yet, so we need the gear. So I would opine that it is about the gear. Hey, thanks for everything you do, Fred. Love your show. And um, but you know the political correctness. It's not about the gear. Come on. We all knew better than that. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. I also do a lot of product reviews on my channel, so check it out. Thanks again for watching.